That's right, my last review, which was for the movie Incarnate. You guys let me know what you thought of Incarnate. You commented below and you let me know. Then I should talk about The Last of Us 2 trailer. I'm gonna talk about The Last of Us 2 trailer. Meanwhile, Stranger Things and Luke Cage fans are like, come on! All things in their time, to I'm just saying there's a difference between a minute and a half long trailer, then I talk about it, then a 13 hour marathon of Netflix or television, then I talk about it. In a world where there's never enough time, which is coincidentally the same world where I love The Last of Us, let's talk about this trailer. Not much to talk about, really. The trailer is very short, but there are things to be noticed. It's really Ellie strumming a guitar going, eh, when people come at me, I'm gonna fucking kill some folk. But you see, she's got prison tats, she's a little older, she's a little more hard. And of course, dead people in the house, because I guess some people people came after her and she laid some folks out. That or she straight up hunted them down and laid some folks out. You don't know, but by implication, like Joel comes in, he's just walking in, you see his silhouette, and he's walking by some dead ass bodies. Freshly dead too, I mean there's still blood running down Ellie's face while she's strumming guitar. Joel comes in, he's like, what are you doing kid? Takes the guitar, he's like, may the circle be unbroken. He doesn't do that. But no, he's like, you're really gonna go through with this? And she's like, I'm going to kill every last one of them. Which is very open to interpretation. What's it mean? Someone wronged her. Is it like the people from the first one? There were some people that wronged Ellie in the first one. Most of those folks did not make it out okay. So so there's, are there remnants from the first game that now she's like, nope, screw that. Let's go after them. Let's kill them. Let's actively hunt them down. Or does she mean like, I'm going to kill every last one of the people who come after me? Are there people who know that she has some sort of cure in her blood. I feel like I'm spoiling the first Last of Us game for you. I'm just sorry if I am. But if you haven't played the first Last of Us game, why are you watching me talk about a trailer for the second game? Do yourself a favor. Go play the Last of Us. Holy shit. Or is it the beginning of this game? Someone wrongs her. Something happens and she's like, you know what? Revenge quest. Let's go do that. I just know Ellie has an axe to grind with some people and some folks in this trailer paid for it a few minutes prior. I did notice that her tattoo is covering up the bite on her arm that she had because in this world, if you have a bite on your arm and you don't look like you came fresh off of the Dutchman in the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie, you probably have a cure in your blood that people will try to rip out of your spine. So in an attempt to have a drama-free life, she has covered up the bite with tattoos, I guess. Which clearly didn't work out for her because she is covered in splots of blood, singing a ballad of revenge over a corpse. A simple post-apocalyptic life. Judging by this trailer, I would not be surprised if Ellie is the star of the next game, not Joel. In the first game, Joel was the one you play as, Ellie was support. Maybe they're going a different direction where it's like, Ellie's the one you play as, Joel is support. Maybe you can switch between both. That'd be pretty cool. One's the main one, one's support, and then you just push a button and then you swap to the other one and now that's the main one, the other one's support, and you have to work together with them. Now a few years older, like I said, she's got the tats. I feel like in the next game, she could really hold her own and possibly carry the game if they really need her to. Not necessarily what I want to happen because I love Joel and I want to play as Joel also. I do feel like if they have both characters and you swap between the two at your behest when you want to, I think that would be a really cool mechanic. But I mean, let's not go go nuts here. I mean, it's just all speculation. I love trailers like that. I love movie trailers like this. I love game trailers like this, where it's just conceptual. It's the concept. There's a personal moment with a character. There's some tone. There's some atmosphere. There are a couple of bits of dialogue, a couple of words exchanged, and then the music cues up and gives you goosebumps from here down your spine, because that's what it did. That's exactly how it went down for me. So anyhow, The Last of Us 2 trailer, this is a collaborative effort here. We were all on the same page on this one. I was like, I want to talk about that. Read my Twitter feed and the comments of my previous video, I was like, and they want to hear me talk about it. So this is me John on about The Last of Us 2 trailer. Looks pretty fucking awesome, ain't gonna lie to you. I'm ready to kill some more folks. Ready to kill some infected too, but come on, the real animals in this thing, it's just the people. So when you had The Last of Us 2 trailer that they just unveiled, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.